Hi, welcome everyone. Um, this is the industry expert session on reducing your waste in your business. My name's Liz Quinlan. I'm the regional waste coordinator with Shorrock, which is the regional organisation of councils, Manly, Mossman, Pitwater and Moringa. And um, we're here to talk about what businesses are throwing away into landfill and what we can do about it and what's in it for the business. So just a little bit of background. Um, when you look at um, New South Wales EPA has done some uh, commercial and industrial audits of business waste and what they found was that um, businesses produce a third of all waste in New South Wales and we're still sending 2.5 million tonnes of waste to landfill every year. Um, and that's even 1 million tonnes within the um, Sydney metropolitan area. But the problem is we're running out of landfill. As we all know, there are major environmental concerns with waste in landfill from leachates to odour um, to toxins. And the landfill costs are rising because landfills are getting very scarce in the metropolitan area. So there's an imperative to try to get waste out of landfill for lots of reasons, um, environmental as well as financial. So when you look at um, business waste, 70% um, of what, is gets, what gets sent to landfill could, or, could actually be reused or recycled, um, reducing business cost. And there's a range of products out there now that can be recycled that you may not have thought about in the past because the technology is rapidly progressing. So when you think about soft plastic packaging, plastic film, core flute, x-rays, polystyrene, food waste, electrical equipment, coolants, inks, oil filters, tyres, carpet underlay, they're just, just some off the top of my head um, of things that can be now recycled. So there's, it's really to do with the markets um, that are available for recycled products rather than what can be recycled. Um, when you look at who generates the waste, um, it's interesting to see that it's, um, you know, manufacturing is 24%. Um, mixed small business, though, is actually quite a, a high proportion as well. Um, and um, retail. But when you actually look at it, EPA has done some social research on um, recycling. And what they found was that um, businesses that do recycle think that they recycle as much as they can. Um, but the research so shows that 60% of them don't actually monitor their waste or recycling. So they don't actually measure what they're recycling. So they don't really know if they're doing it well or not. And of those that, measure, that actually are recycling, 42% don't know how much their waste bills are or their recycling collection bills are. So they really can't make a judgment call as to whether they're recycling as much as they, they can, whether it's better to landfill versus recycle, because they really don't have the numbers. And as we all know, it's hard to manage what you can't measure. And I suppose it's even harder to find out what you don't know. And so what, what we'll talk about today is a service that will offer some advice and support to you to find out what you should be recycling um, and what's practical for your business. Now, this is funded by the New South Wales EPA and um, they've set aside $465 million over five years to deal with landfill waste and increase resource recovery. $35 million is set aside to work with business on improving business recycling. And of that, 25.5 million is, is on at the program that we're going to talk about today. So they've, they've put 25 mil, 20 million into what they, they term the bin trim program, which is uh, paying for expert assessors, waste assessors, to go into your business to work with you to increase your recycling. And to date, 8,000 businesses across New South Wales have, have had this service. Um, and to ensure the quality of those 8,000 more um, waste assessments, they've developed some online tools. So all the assessors across New South Wales are using the same online tool, so there's a standard quality control. And that's called the bin trim tool. Now, across our region, uh, which are the four council areas, we're very lucky. Um, we've got two different projects offering free waste assessments to business. And they are the Recycling at Work project, uh, which is being run through the regional organisation of councils, Shorrock. Um, and the, the people who are delivering that are Ian Mackay, who's sitting here, who is the uh, Recycling at Work project officer, 
and he's a very experienced small business mentor. And Mark Callanan, who's here, who's the experienced waste assessor from AP, A Prince Environmental. So that's one team that's delivering free waste assessments across the peninsula. The other team is the 300 Stories team being developed by Edge Environment. They're based in Manly, and we've got Blake Lindley here from Edge and Gabby Adolfi, um, both experienced sustainability consultants that specialise in recycling for industry. So together, the target is that these two groups will, this, this 18 months, deliver 250 free waste audits to businesses in our area. So what we'll talk about tonight is Ian will just give you a rundown of what's involved in a waste assessment. Blake and Gabby have had a wealth of experience in delivering these assessments in round one of this program run by the EPA, and they'll be talking about um, the case studies that they've worked on in this area. And then Mark Callanan, who's a very experienced waste assessor, will be talking about the recycling equipment rebates that the EPA is offering if you need a baler, if you need a compactor, um, if you need some equipment to more efficiently recycle for your business. So now I'd just like to hand over to Ian. Um, to talk you through how the process works. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this part of the presentation is mercilessly short uh, because the process itself is actually very simple, so it doesn't take very long to explain. What's involved in a free waste assessment? Well, basically, you'll get some very valuable advice and support in an area of your business that's very often overlooked. Now, I can say that from experience and having dealt personally with hundreds of businesses uh, across, my, across my career, but more recently as a, as a business mentor and advisor. And it's only been through working with uh, people like Mark and, and going out there and having a look at, uh, at uh, you know, what businesses aren't recycling. It's been a real education and, and you, you may be very, very surprised to learn um, what you can recycle. So very, very simply, through contact with someone like myself or, or, or approaching us directly, we'll arrange for a, an industry waste expert to come to your business site and do a visual assessment of, um, of what's going into the bins, etc. Um, measure your waste. Um, they will tailor a, a waste reduction action plan to suit your specific needs, uh, which will be using the New South Wales EBA bin trim tool. Now, this is an excellent, excellent tool an excellent resource which you'd be very, very well advised to uh, avail yourself of through the, um, through the advisor. He or she will give you practical advice on how to save on waste bills, increase recycling and improve your environmental footprint. They will then and can liaise with your waste service provider to uh, perhaps get a better arrangement, uh, maybe um, negotiate a better, a, a better deal and ultimately save you money. So why bother having a free waste assessment? Well, the answer very simply is because it makes good business sense. The whole process provides very measurable results. On average, um, businesses across the board have reduced their ma uh, waste management costs by average $3,000 a year. They've increased their recycling rates from 36 to 49%. This means savings of two tonnes of carbon pollution the annual energy use of two households, 19,000 litres of water, and two and a half tonnes of raw materials every year. Now, for instance, in metropolitan Sydney, the 2015-16 levy rates for waste 
was $133 a tonne. This rate goes up every year. Now, this, that, that cost is incorporated into the Weybridge fees charged um, at waste disposal facilities, and that's passed on to all direct users of the facilities and indirectly to you via the waste service provider. Kimbricky, for instance, charges $315 a tonne, a minimum of $60 for commercial mixed waste disposal. In principle, it can be cheaper to recycle than to send it to landfill. This program, the bin trim, the recycling at work program, can assist you, businesses, to meet all those environmental targets and reduce your costs, hopefully. Other reasons, of course, for diverting waste from landfill are that toxins, leachates, greenhouse gases that individually or in combination pollute land, water and air. And waste that goes to landfill also contains a lot of embodied energy accrued in the course of its production. And I'd just put it to you that to bury this energy is truly wasteful. Sustainable, ethical and good, decent businesses want to reduce their waste. Folks, it's not someone else's problem. This is our problem and it's a very real one. We all understand the need and the critical importance of vision and leadership, whether it's a national leadership or whether it's leadership in, in businesses. This is, a, this is an excellent opportunity to show good corporate citizenship and lead by example. It's an opportunity to do well by doing good, as our Todd Sampson was speaking about. But from, once again, from a purely practical business point of view, it helps attract customers, it increases staff morale, and your own staff are your best business advocates, I can speak from experience there, and you ultimately get better, better value from the waste services that you already have. So I can only leave you with this thought. What is your business really throwing away? And to find out, it's as, simply as, as simple as registering your interest by approaching myself or one of the other people here or filling out uh, one of the forms that's on the table there, taking a brochure. Thank you very much for your attention. As an overview, apart from the fact that this uh, government program provides you with a free waste assessment, um, part of that program also provides some of these millions of dollars that's coming from the waste levy is devoted to supplying um, infrastructure um, equipment. And that, 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 in a nutshell, basically that means if, you're, if, you've, if your business is producing waste that you don't know how to deal with or it's, or it's, or it's out of control, if, if there are bits of equipment that are available to you that will help you manage that waste that is currently going to get landfill because you can't control it, i.e. compactors, macerators, that sort of stuff, then the government will come to the party and offer um, a 50% uh, rebate on, on the cost of that equipment. And that, that, that cost ranges from $2,000 to $100,000. Government will pay half. Bad news is you've got to put it all up front yourself, but you will get half of it back. Um, um, it applies for more than one piece of equipment. Um, and the only rule and, and part of our assessment and the, and the, and the um, software tool that we use calculates the, the tonnage uh, that will be diverted away from landfill. And if the equipment cost uh, gets rated at $200 or less per tonne of material diverted, then you qualify. Um, so, um, basically, all you've got to do to become eligible for this equipment, assuming you have the, the amount of waste that would uh, put you in this qualification bracket, um, just submit yourself to one of these free waste assessments, which is a great thing to do anyway, because you'll learn more than you realise. Um, and uh, the only other rule is that the, the material being diverted has to be new material. Like if you're already recycling your cardboard, you can't just put your hand up for a 
compacter because it will make your workplace tidier. If it doesn't, act, it's got to actually increase your diversion, your current diversion, or or, or new diversion. Um, it's also available to um, like shopping precincts, shopping centres that manage uh, a conglomerate of smaller businesses. So they, uh, the businesses themselves would not qualify because of their size and scale, but as a shopping centre as a whole, uh, might well qualify for a um, compactors or macerators in particular for organic food waste. So. That's also, if there are any recyclers in the, in the group that Recyclers actually qualify also. So, uh, balers, compactors for plastic and or cardboard, um, organic macerators, which, uh, and like Gabby was saying, the organic waste is, is, such, a, is such a heavy uh, component of a lot of general waste bins that um, it's a great solution to, to many businesses. Uh, glass crushing machines, polystyrene, once a great problem, now there are very practical ways of dealing with it shredders, and even recycling bins, like if you own a shopping centre. And that is it. Um, the application process, we'll just, we'll just guide you through it. You, you, you have the waste assessment. Uh, if you qualify, then we'll guide you through the whole application process. It's, it's really as easy as it sounds. Anyway, the, 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 end, the end result, hopefully, is we reduce waste to landfill. That's what we're doing it for. Okay, thanks. <laughs>